Hi students, in this video we are going to learn about variable transconductance technique. So variable transconductance technique is a analog multiplier. We know what is analog multiplier. Analog multiplier, the output voltage is directly proportional to the product of two input voltages. That is analog multiplier. So this is also analog multiplier. So here in variable transconductance technique, we are using the symmetrical differential amplifier. This is the main part of this technique. That is symmetrical differential amplifier. What is the meaning of symmetrical differential amplifier? Here, this is the differential amplifier circuit. Here, we are using two transistors. That is Q1 and Q2 transistor. Both transistor characteristics are same. That means symmetrical differential amplifier. So, this symmetrical differential amplifier is the main part of the variable transconductance technique. So, here it uses the principle of dependence of the transistor transconductance on the emitter current bias. That is, it makes use of the dependence characteristics of the transistor transconductance parameter on the emitter current bias applied. So, here this is the emitter current bias. Here the input voltage is V2. In differential amplifier, the input voltage is V1 that is applied to the differential amplifier. Here the V2 voltage depends upon the V2 voltage, IE current will be flow through the RE resistance. So this is the circuit diagram of variable transconductance technique. So already I said that is transistor Q1 and Q2 forms the differential amplifier. Here the applied voltage that is differential input voltage V1 is very small. That means the voltage level is V1 is very very less than the Vt voltage. Okay. Next we are going to calculate the output voltage V0. So uh, to find the output voltage we are considering any one of the transistor. Because both transistor are symmetrical. Characteristics is symmetrical. So we can Take any one of the differential circuit. Okay. Any one of the side. We know that. E colon circuit. So E colon circuit for the transistor is. This is the input voltage V1. So here one voltage so, current source. That is GM into input voltage V1. Then output, output resistance that is RL. So we know this is the E colon circuit. The output voltage is across the RL resistance correct so we are going to find the v naught value what is v naught v equal to i into r so what is i value gm into v1 into rl that's all that is v naught is equal to gm v1 into rl okay this is the output voltage of this transconductance then what is gm gm means transconductance transconductance means what that is ratio of output current and the input voltage. What is the output current? We can say this is the output current of the circuit. So this is the collector current, correct? So collector current means that is we are taking that is the output current is IC. So this IC current is approximately equal to the emitter current IE. So we can say that is output current is IE because both the current are approximately equal. So what is GM? GM means that is the ratio of output current to the input voltage that is volt in temperature Vt. So this is the transconductance value. Now we are going to apply the transconductance value in the output voltage V0. So that is V0 is equal to IE into V1 RL divided by Vt. So if you are seeing this derivation, so this V0 is equal to GM into V1 RL. GM means transconductance. Gm is equal to Ie divided by Vt. If you are substituting this value, we will get V0 is equal to Ie divided by Vt into Rl V1. So this Vm, if you see this, this is, this is the v, Gm value, correct? This Gm value depends on the emitter current Ie. So here if you see, Gm value depends on the emitter current Ie. Emitter current depends on the, the, the second input voltage V2, applied voltage V2, correct? Then find the V2 value. What is V2? V2 is equal to IE into RE. So V2 is equal to IE into RE. Again I repeat transconductance depends on the emitter current IE. So that emit uh, that is controlled by the second voltage input voltage V2. 
So here from, from this equation we are finding the value of IE that IE is equal to V2 divided by RE. Substitute this value in this equation then we will get the output value that is output value V0 is equal to V2 RE VT into RL V1. We are just rearranging this term we will get like this that is V0 is equal to RL RE VT into V1 V2. So, this is the scalar factor that is the constant proportionality that is K. So, V0 is equal to K into V1 V2. So, what is K value? K is RL divided by RE into VT. So, if you see in this output voltage, that output voltage is equal to product of two input voltage that is analog multiplier. So, transconductance we got, got the output. So, next we are going to see the disadvantage of variable transconductance. So, this is the first disadvantage that is the scale factor K is temperature dependent. So, here K is temperature dependent that is this is Vt. So, K value is depends upon the temperature var dependent right. Then next one the total current IE varies as a function of voltage V2. So, K, uh, total current IE is the function of V2 right. V2 is equal to IE into RE that is function of V2. So, these are the disadvantage of <coughs> variable transconductance. This disadvantages can be eliminated by using Gilbert's cell. Thank you.